after learning the conjugate of complex number, uh, we need to learn few properties of conjugate number which are very very important. You must understand, you must learn, you must know those properties of conjugate number. All right. For that, let me take an example of a complex number. Let's say Z is a complex number which is A plus I, P, I means iota here. And similarly, let me imagine one more complex number. Let's say W which is equals to C plus I, T. All right. So the first thing I want to tell you here. Uh, the real part of the conjugate number z, all right, is 1 over 2 z plus conjugate of z, all right. So if you want to find out the real part of a complex number, then it's just the half of the sum of the complex number and the conjugate of that, all right. This is the conjugate of that complex number. This was the first one. And similarly, if you want to find out the, uh, the imaginary part of the complex number, then it is again half of the uh, difference of the complex number and the conjugate of that conjugate of that number all right let me show you how it is uh, exactly correct you know it's half z the complex number is a plus ib and plus the conjugate of that complex number z which is a minus ib all right so from here iota b minus iota b will cancel up it's twice of a divided by 2 2 2 cancel you'll get a and what's a a is actually the real part of that complex number you saw recently all right so similarly if you check for the complex uh, numbers imaginary part all right so if you want to find out the imaginary part of this complex number then it's simply again the half of the difference of the uh, complex number uh, and the conjugate of that the complex number is a plus ib all right and minus uh, conjugate of that that is a minus ib but it is inside the bracket all right okay so i'm going to open the bracket it's a plus i times b and now minus a and minus times minus this will give you the plus i b okay and then this a and this a will cancel up and you'll get uh, 1 by 2 times now iota b plus iota b it's twice of iota b this 2 and 2 will cancel up and you'll get iota b so from here it is very clear that uh, the real part of the complex number is equals to the half of the sum of the complex number and the conjugate of that and similarly the difference of the complex number and the conjugate of that if you do the half of that you'll get the imaginary part of the of that particular complex number so this is the uh, a little rule of the conjugate of the complex number all right and the next properties is if you add two complex number and then you find the conjugate of that then that is equals to the individual sum of the conjugate of those two numbers all right if you add two complex number and then you find out the conjugate of that then it's same like finding out the conjugate of each and adding it. All right. Let me show you the how it is. All right. Let me give the proof of this. You know. Let me first add uh, the complex number z and w. So z is a plus ib, and similarly w is c plus id. And when we add the two conjugate numbers, you know very well that we add the real parts. We put the real parts together, and then we put the imaginary parts together. All right. So it's going to be now b plus d and our left hand side is here you know our left hand side is here uh z plus w bar all right so it's it's simply a plus c now whenever you find the conjugate of that it just the sign get changed so it's minus b plus d all right and i will be here okay so now further what i'm going to do i'm going to write a plus c all right I'm going to multiply by this minus i to both of them. So it's going to be minus ib and then minus plus minus i times d. So further, it's going to be a. Um, I'm now writing these two together. This a and ib together. So it's going to be minus ib. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, okay. Minus ib. I write these two together. And now, next time I'm writing these two guys together. Okay. So uh, it's going to be now this plus c minus id see i didn't do anything it's plus a plus a is here and minus ib minus ib is here plus c plus c is here minus id minus id is here and now you know what it is i'm just going to make the bracket over here and a minus ib is the conjugate of z all right similarly c minus id is i i is here out okay is the conjugate of yes w so what's that so z plus w uh 
bar that is the conjugate of sum of the z and w uh, complex number is equals to the individual sum of the conjugate of z and w all right that's our right hand side this is proved all right so this was our second properties of the conjugate conjugate of the product of the two complex number is equals to the product of the individual conjugate of those number those complex number all right so here let me show you first z times w let me first find and then i will show you how it is equals to the individual product of them all right so z is our a plus ib and w is our c plus id so when you multiply two complex number it's going to be x1 x2 minus uh, y1 y2 so it's a c minus b d all right plus x1 y uh, x1 y2 uh, i mean first let's write i x1 y2 that is a d or you can say the terminal parts and uh, times the uh, plus the middle parts plus b c this is the this is the simply multiplication of the two complex number i hope you you remember this you know first it's like uh, x1 x2 minus y1 y2 i mean x1 x2 minus y1 y2 and then uh, plus i and then the terminal parts plus the middle parts all right including the i this is the product all right i, I know you're very smart in finding out the product so now i'm going to find out the conjugate of this new complex number that we recently find after the multiplying z complex number by w or you can say the product of the complex number z and w so simply the conjugate of this is ac minus bc bd as it is and the signs just get changed you know that so it's minus i uh, ad plus bc okay so further i'm doing ac minus bd and i'm doing a little thing here because uh, you know in the in the multiplication formula minus do not come so i'm trying to make it plus and by doing so what i'm doing here i'm i have to bring this minus into inside this so i'm writing a times minus d and again plus c times minus b and I think you understand this how I did it you know it's AC minus BD as it is you know as it is and I took minus common so minus will multiply this time here also it will be one minus and here also will be uh, will be also one minus so a is positive but the product D is negative all right and uh, this minus will be here so I just brought that minus into the B format and now if you compare uh, the product of the two 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 complex number with the standard formula you know what is our standard formula of the product of the two two complex number isn't this like x1 x2 minus y1 y2 which is exactly matching you know this is x1 this is x2 this is y1 this is y2 plus i times uh, x1 y2 plus x2 y1 so see here x1 as it is y2 is in the negative format and x2 is uh, positive and y1 is negative all right a and c here yeah, both are positive a and c both are positive so it is positive all right and b is here negative see here b is here negative all right this has also one negative and d has also one negative so minus minus when they multiply you know minus minus times minus you'll get plus all right so here no problem with the sign all right so this is exactly with the standard formula and this is the this is the uh, multiplication of the two complex number uh, a plus i times minus b all right this is one complex number times c plus i times minus d all right if, if you do the multiplication of these two complex number then you'll exactly get this you can check it up all right see x1 x2 minus y1 y2 all right so a times c which is here minus y1 y2 that is minus b times minus d minus minus plus so you'll get plus bd and in the middle you'll get minus from the formula it's, it's right you can you can do also all right you can you can you, you can practice if you do not understand you just multiply manually this two you'll definitely get this all right and what is this this is simply a minus ib and this is simply c minus id and a minus ib is the conjugate of z and c minus id is the conjugate of w so what do you get z times w conjugate is equals to conjugate of z times conjugate of w so 
here is proved all right and now the fourth properties of the conjugate of a complex number you have to understand is uh, if you do twice the conjugate of a single number then you'll get the again the same complex number all right you have a complex number and you do the twice conjugate of that then you'll get the same you know here uh, the first con uh, here j is a plus ib so the first conjugate is definitely a minus ib and now you're going to find out the conjugate of this z uh, z bar or bar gel so conjugate of this z bar will be one more bar over here so it will be a and just opposite of the sign and opposite of the minus is plus ib and which is this one that's why i'm saying this is z all right so if you do twice the conjugate of a number then you'll get the same number and the fifth properties of the conjugate of complex number is if you multiply uh, the complex number with the conjugate of that then you're going to get a real number you know you'll get a real number a real number let me show you how here is z times z bar okay z is here a plus ib and the conjugate of this will be just opposite in sign a minus ib and if you simply look without multiplying i will simply say isn't this a plus b a minus b like like you know a plus b a minus b the algebraic form of the a plus b a minus b is a square minus b square so what i'm going to do now here a square uh, minus i b whole square so what you're going to get you're going to get a square minus now it is i square b square it's a square and the value of i square is minus one so it's minus one times b square so you're going to get a square plus b square which is a real value you know which is a real number so from your what did you understand that whenever you multiply a complex number with the conjugate of that then you are going to get a real value keep in mind that this is a little important all right